Hello and welcome to a Simutech Trips and Tricks. Today I'm going to show you how to model a beam model or a truss system using Space Claim and ANSYS Mechanical. So to start out, I'm going to drag and drop a static structural onto my uh, project schematic here. And then I'll right click on uh, geometry and say edit new Space Claim geometry. So you could uh, theoretically bring your curves in from any CAD system into Space Claim or Design Modeler. However, you'll need at the very least uh, Design Modeler or Space Claim to assign cross-sectional properties for beam elements. Okay, so now that we're inside of Space Claim, I can start uh, creating a sketch for my beam model. So I'm gonna just uh, do a, a plain view here, normal to my surface and come up with uh, some sort of uh, truss system. So this might be quite large in your case, but I'm just gonna do um, a meter in the vertical direction, maybe 5,000 meters, or sorry, five meters in the other direction, and down a meter, and then maybe a simple beam structure here and maybe we have a center post. Okay, so now that we have um, basically our truss, trusses enabled, we can go to the prepare tab and assign a profile. So there's some default profiles assigned here. You can create your own cross section and, and extract that profile. Um, and then there's also AISC and Eurocode profiles that you can get that are uh, kind of standard cross-sectional profiles. Uh, in this one, I'm just gonna use a simple circular cross-section. So I've selected that and I can create my beams. So I use the create option here and I'm just gonna uh, simply click the beams that I wanna create. And now that I've created them, I have this uh, beam folder you can see here with their beam profile, which is the, the circular cross section. If I need to edit this, I can highlight the beam profile, right click and say edit beam profile. And right now the radius is 10 millimeters. I can change this diameter to whatever I need it to be. And this goes for any of the parameters uh, for any of the other cross sections. So I'll edit this. Maybe I want the dimension to be 20 millimeters, so go ahead and type in 20. And so I have a much bigger radius and I can close this out. Next, you may want to verify that your truss system um, has the correct cross sections. So I can choose to display the cross sections or um, the 3D basically model. So I'll go back to 3D view and you can see that it's a circular um, representation of what that beam would look like. Now the final uh, thing that you may need to do in case these beams are unconnected at this point would be do you go to workbench and share the various points. So we go to workbench, share topology. Uh, it's detecting where the points are coincident and we'll hit the green check mark. So now you can see that um, all the green beams here have connected topology on either end. Uh, the beam that we see here is orange because it's only connected at one end. Um, and this, this end is free, which is fine. We'll just put a support there when we go in to do our beam analysis. So that's it for uh, basically defining beams. Another useful tip is that you can actually extract cross sections from solid models. So if you have a truss system that's um, already been defined in 3D CAD, you can extract those beams out automatically using this extract tool. Okay, so now we're done with the geometry aspect. We're gonna go back to Workbench here and we'll double click on the model cell to open up the mechanical editor. And now we have our beam model here. So you can see that it is um, just being represented by lines right now. Uh, we 
can choose to generate a mesh on this. And you'll see that the uh, cross sections are visually expanded uh, or graphically expanded. And you can choose to turn this on and off um, via the display. So it's the thick shells and beams options under the display tab uh, for ANSYS 2019 R2. So if I uncheck it, it'll just show um, the lines that indicate the beams. So now that we have our beams set up, we basically just need to apply loads uh, and supports. So I'm just going to simply select um, vertices and create a fixed support at, I, at the bottoms here. And then I can create maybe a force on one side here and apply this in the vertical Z direction, we'll say neg or, uh, 500 pounds, for instance. And we can take a look at total stress. We can insert beam results, axial forces, uh, anything like that um, for our beams. We can take a look at uh, the beam tool, which has a couple of uh, st stress fields under there. Um, and then so there's a whole bunch of uh, results that you can take a look at for beams specifically. So go ahead and solve. We have our total deformation here. It's being magnified or scaled. Auto scaled by 48. We can look at the true scale. There's hardly any deflection there. Our axial forces. So if we use our probe, find what those axial forces are at each specific beam and how much work they're doing. So it should be consistent through the beam. Um, and we can take a look at all the load cases as such. You have direct stress minimum combined stress and maximum combined stress and any other s sort of beam results that you'd want. So this has just been a uh, quick overview on how to do a simple truss system. I hope you've learned something and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.